All right, so on May 30th, 2023, something important happened in South Africa. The Constitutional Court, which is like the highest court in the country, made a decision about a law called the Traditional and Khoisan Leadership Act. This law was passed back in 2019, but some people were not happy with how it was done. Ms. Constance Mukhale and some organizations and communities went straight to the Constitutional Court to say that the government didn't follow the right process when passing this law. They argued that the National Assembly, the National Council of Provinces, and the provincial legislature didn't give the public enough chance to be involved. These people sued a bunch of important people, like the Speaker of the National Assembly and the President of the country. Some of them defended themselves and said that they did nothing wrong, but others agreed that maybe some mistakes had been made. The law they were talking about, the Traditional and Khoisan Leadership Act, was meant to fix some problems with an older law from 2003. The government spent a few years talking to the public about this new law before passing it. But the people who went to court said that the meetings where they talked about the law were not fair. They had a bunch of complaints about these meetings. They said the notice was too short. People didn't get copies of the law. And sometimes there were problems with translations. They also felt that traditional leaders were given more attention than regular people in these meetings. And there were more issues like that. The government argued that even though there were some problems, they weren't big enough to make the law invalid. They said they did enough to involve the public. In the end, the Constitutional Court agreed with the people who went to court. They said that the government didn't do a good job in getting the public involved. They found a lot of problems with the meetings that were held, so the Constitutional Court ruled this law invalid. But they gave the government another chance. They said that the government has two years to fix the problems and make a new law that follows the right process. If they don't do that, then the law will stay invalid. This is a big deal because it shows that the Constitutional Court takes public participation seriously. It's important for people to have a say in the laws that affect them. So now the government has to go back to the drawing board and make sure they do things right. To sum it up, the Constitutional Court's ruling on the Traditional and Khoisan Leadership Act has highlighted the importance of meaningful public participation in the lawmaking process. The court found that the government failed to fulfill its constitutional obligation to involve the public in passing this law, citing numerous deficiencies in the public hearings. This ruling has significant importance. Firstly, it invalidates the Traditional and Khoisan Leadership Act, meaning that the law no longer is legally binding. The court's decision sends a strong message that proper public engagement is essential for the legitimacy of legislation, particularly when it's impacting the traditional communities. Second, the ruling grants the government a 24-month period to address the shortcomings and either re-enact the Traditional and Khoisan Leadership Act in a manner consistent with the Constitution or pass a new statute that adheres to the constitutional requirements. This offers an opportunity for the government to learn from its mistakes and ensure a more inclusive and participatory process. Moving forward, it is crucial for citizens to actively engage in the discussions around the lawmaking process. Everyone's voice matters, and public input can shape the laws that affect our lives. By participating in public consultations, sharing opinions, and raising awareness, individuals like you can contribute to more accountable and inclusive governance. Let's seize this moment to reflect on the importance of public participation, not only in South Africa, but in all democratic societies. The Constitutional Court's ruling serves as a reminder that citizens have the power to hold their government accountable and shape the future of their communities. Join the conversation, share your views, and play an active role in shaping the laws that impact you and your fellow citizens, because together we can foster a more participatory and inclusive democracy. But that's just what I think. What do you think? Let me know and share your views 